this is what the temperature will be looking at. Supposedly cold. Uh, it's not far from the North Pole, which is around here. And uh, let's look at the weather because uh, we want to see what's going on there. North Pole, Nunavut weather, 5 degrees Celsius. And it's uh, the outlook until Friday is basically very warm. So you can imagine how much melt is going on there. I thought it would be uh, freezing all year long because it's uh, supposed to be. But I guess it's not. And here we go throughout Europe. This is the Sahara Desert that we see. Let's move it. Okay. This is where the stagnant weather will be all along here. And as we know, most of these countries don't have air conditioning, even England, with the tremendous heat. They have a problem. They don't have air conditioners. Warning of potentially devastating European heat wave. Hell is coming. This is the weather forecast. Science Alert reports the intense heat wave is set, is set to bake Europe in coming days and that it will be historic, potentially shattering records across most of the continent. The heat wave is expected to peak between Wednesday and Friday when a swath from Spain to Poland is expected to see temperatures at least 20 to 30 degrees that's 11 to 7 degrees Celsius above normal. That's amazing. Actually, temperatures should surge at at least 95 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 35 to 40 degrees Celsius over a huge area of, most of the area of, as we can see from the map, of Europe. Some locations could be even hotter, especially within cities, where a heat island effect from asphalt and concrete increases the temperatures, as we know. Mika Rantanen, meteorologist in Finland, described computer model forecasts for the intensity of the heat totally unheard of for June in France. Early summer heat waves can be especially lethal as people have not yet had time to acclimatize to the high temperatures. Older adults and homeless and those without air conditioning are most susceptible to heat-related illnesses. Heat waves are silent killers, according to Stefan Ramstuff, climate scientist at Potsdam University. The 2003 European heat wave that caused about 70,000 fatalities last year's hot summer in Germany has been estimated to have caused at least 1,000 excess deaths. The highest temperatures are likely to occur across western and central mainland Europe. Some of the hardest hit in Spain and France are expected to see temperatures of at least 104 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 40 degrees Celsius, which, for, of course, they're not used to. For three straight days, Wednesday to Friday. In a viral tweet, Silvia Laplana, meteorologist in Spain, wrote El Infierno, which translates to hell is coming. The mercury forecast to approach 105 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 40.6 degrees Celsius, in Madrid on Friday which would be its highest temperature ever recorded. In Paris, temperatures may approach 100 degrees Fahrenheit Wednesday through Friday. Combination of heat and humidity will make for challenging conditions at the Women's World Cup where the United States takes on France, although the game is set for 9 p.m. local time when the worst conditions will have eased. Paris, along with more than half of France, is under an orange alert the second highest level on the country's heat scale. The scale was instituted after the 2003 summer heat wave, which was blamed for a whopping 15,000 deaths from the heat. French meteorologist Guillaume Wisnaka tweeted when, uh, Tuesday that the latest forecasts leave little doubt that France will set a new national heat record around 113 degrees 
Fahrenheit or 45 Celsius on Friday, passing the old mark of 111 degrees or 44.1 degrees Celsius set in 2003. Farther northeast, Berlin is expected to flirt with the century mark uh, on the Thursday, while Potsdam forecasts to break his all-time record 3.6 degrees, 2 degrees Celsius. In uh, Switzerland, Geneva is expected to be around 98.6 degrees, that's 37 degrees Celsius, Wednesday and Thursday. Even Copenhagen, on the main island of Denmark, is set to head into the 80s. In addition to France, a list of June national records that may be broken includes Austria with 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit, Germany with 101.3 degrees Fahrenheit, Switzerland at 99.1 degrees Fahrenheit, as well as several others in the region. Some all-time records mostly set in July or August may also be threatened. In the United Kingdom and Ireland, temperatures are not forecast to be as intense as in the south, but some spots should see readings into the 80s, considered above normal for the time of the year. Farther east, in southern Sweden, as well as neighboring Denmark, some spots could approach 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Part of the cause for the massive early season heat wave is a pair of powerful high-pressure systems. One is near Greenland and the other is over north-central Europe. As they come linked and flex over coming days, They'll also act to block a low-pressure system to the south, which would draw cooler air over Europe. Together, the zones of high pressure, combined with the cooler, low-pressure zone offshore, will steer a Spanish plume, quote-unquote, over mainland Europe and the United Kingdom. The hot air plume, sourced from deserts in Spain and the Sahara, will spill over France, Britain and Germany, the result can be a lot of falling records and severe thunderstorms at times. And in some areas, the resulting heat will be an intensified version of what they're being there. They're. June has so far been dominated by warmth in eastern Central Europe, with cooler than normal conditions over western parts of the continent. Germany is seeing a top five warmest June with Potsdam in the northeast part of the country on its way to its warmest June on record. But farther west, this onslaught of heat represents something of a pattern change. So far this summer it's often been cool and it's often been raining, BBC notes. This early heat wave is the latest in a number of historic episodes of heat in recent years. Just last summer the continent saw relentless record temperatures coupled with unusually dry conditions as a result, drought and wildfires were rampant. The hottest summer since 1500 AD in Europe were 2018, 2010, 2003, 2016 and 2002, wrote Ramstorff. The broader weather regime behind this heat wave has connections to the stagnant high pressure zone responsible for the big Greenland melt event in mid-June. Both the Greenland melt and this heat wave are connected to a blocking pattern composed of big and lumbering high-pressure zones in the northern latitudes that can become stuck in place and lead to extreme weather. Such patterns may be becoming more common in a warming world. While the current heat wave is set to peak later this week, warmer than normal conditions seem likely to persist for longer in much of Western and Central Europe. Any notable cooler air seems likely to remain centered near the Nordic states and into Asia for the time being. This article was originally published by the Washington Post. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon 
most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.